afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. This one is going to be an awesome one. It's going to be a day in the life of you and us in Gobi City, Ireland. And we're going to bring you with us. I forgot the name of the video. We're going to see a few things, try a few things, see what the crack is in Gobi City. So let's go. Let's run. <laughs> to start this off, uh, it's worth mentioning the Galway International Arts Festival has started and the city is completely mad with people and there's a lot of things here on the air square actually a lot of I saw sausages to be honest so I think we're gonna be do that first but yeah she has uh, other ideas but yeah let's check that first it's actually super exciting here guys the Galway International Arts Festival is always a blast last year there was like 400,000 people here and I don't even know what's gonna be this year but I'm hoping that the town will be full of people and the big mighty crack tell them how much money is spent I can't believe that <laughs> Originally in 1978, the budget for this festival was a thousand pounds. They spent 134 million on it this year. Can you imagine? From a thousand pounds to 134 million. What? But I can see where the money went. Everything is like super fancy and super cool. Sausages. The money went sausages. <laughs> There's a sausage stall here. <laughs> Can't be a bit of sausage. I'm sure you're going to get something too. No, I want a crepe. They have like a big Nutella stand, stand, a Nutella stand, and they have a beer tent, so let's go and get sausage, beer, and pancakes. Well, if you want go a crepe, that's the line. Oh, crepe. <laughs> get it, like, oh, crap. <laughs> Love an old crepe joke. I don't know what I want. There's so much, like, really nice stalls here. We've got Murphy's ice cream that charges you yeah, near the end mortgage, and then there's gras, uh, chocolate, and there's, like, crepes, and there's so much nice things, and I kind of want everything, and all I can smell is sausages. So yeah, we're gonna do a walk around and see what we can see and then we'll come up with a plan. Let's go. I have like an addiction to buy lavender. So when I go to Croatia, I always buy the lavender there. And when I come, when I come here, I live here. <laughs> Every summer I tend to go to Purple Cloud stall and I always buy some of their lavender. Even whether it's their honey, their soap, or actually their essential oil. So let's go and buy some honey and lavender. <laughs> no, so it's an, it's such an I never heard that one before. <laughs> well, you learn something new every day. Now thank said, you so thank much. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> He's a good salesman, but he needs to learn a little bit of information about the lavender world. Definitely in Croatia, the lavender smells a lot better. But this is nice too, I love this. Now next. Folks, I just saw that sausage thing. It's 7 euros and it's big. It's probably the biggest sausage. This is the face I'm having now. <laughs> He's very excited about his big sausage. I am. We're gonna get the 7 euro gourmet, gourmet, gourmet sausage and we're gonna get a beer just there behind us and yeah after that I have a feeling we'll be much smarter I usually am so he is after a bit of a sausage is always pretty good they don't have a vegetarian one for me which is yeah sad. we do have to wait in this line first but it's okay yeah. it's doable I think we got like a fine fee for 14 euro it's like loads. It's way better than what we were uh, priced during Christmas time here in Galway City. Everything was crazy priced. But I think for 14 euro we got a decent meal. But we need to go and find a beer to accompany this. So let's go back to the beer tent and see what we can muster up there. That muster joke. Let's go. <laughs> First impressions. Let's try the Galway Arts Festival chip and garlic and cheese. So excited. Oh, so terribly for your health, but so you mean. Good enough. Yeah, I approve. It is, folks. Just to comp for, to compare, and I'm, am I all mushy? When there was a Galway Christmas market here, the prices were extortionate. For seven euros, you couldn't get shit. She tried to get some, I don't know, some kind of chocolate thingy. It was this big, and it was what twelve. 12 euros, so it was ridiculous, but yeah, this, that gets, this gets a plus for me. The mystery of where all the Galway bins are is still a mystery. <laughs> Even though we have a festival going on here, I can still cannot still find a bin. So we might carry this around for another few minutes until we can discover somewhere to put it. Galway City, we need more bins. Come on, get with the program. So next on the list after eating our snacks, I want to go and see an expo. There's a bit of an art expedition here in the city and it's supposed to be weird and wonderful. So I won't give anything away. We'll go down, we'll see what it's like, we'll film a few bits and we'll show it here. 
what we can discover in this weird and wonderful week that's in it. So I'm excited to go down and see what the expo is holding. Last year it was big, this year is obviously bigger. Now the weather is in playing park with us, or playing park, I'm getting verbal diarrhea again. <laughs> The weather is not great, it's a bit grey today, but that's okay. Everyone's still on high vibes and there's lots of buskers around and there's loads of tourists. I love that people watching and spotting who's from Ireland and who isn't. But it seems like there's a great bunch of people today and I think it's going to be a good crack around Galway City. I'd say everyone will be like partying and having a great time preparing for the Galway races. That is another video for another time. I want to go, I want to go down, I'm excited and I'm equally looking forward to getting a pint and a cup of tea because I am so thirsty after that. You're looking forward to getting a pint. No, for you, I just want tea. Yeah. I'm dried up from I just wanted something. to make it clear, she doesn't drink. I'm excited about tea and, and the beer, but I like the environment. So yeah, and there's another bar that we need to check out, part of the Galway Arts Festival. We have to pretend that we're cultural and like we know arts and stuff, so we have to go in like this. Maybe we should hold a double espresso and grow like a little stash thing so that we fit in. I'd like to wear a top hat if that's possible. Let's go. Don't get us wrong. It's, I don't know, I guess it's nice because someone did put an effort into all of those paintings, pictures. What's the correct phrase actually? I don't know. Two of them, that was very nice. It's just not for me, let's just say. That's all I'm gonna say. So we're gonna go, go and try to find something that's for us <laughs> more interesting. But yeah, we tried. We tried loving art. We did. Yeah, didn't work. Two pieces <laughs> we did. Well, I did anyway. The one of the old man was quite nice and the snowy one was very, very nice too. So whoever painted those ones, they did a good job, guys. Awesome work. Back in the day, the Arts Festival was actually staged right here in Sheridan's uh, Cheesemonger here in Galway City at the Galway City Market. Um, yeah, it used to be an art centre and most of the stuff that was being prepped, prepped, prepared for that was all like here. So that's kind of nice. It can't be turned into a cheesemonger. <laughs> I would say it's still an art center because of all the cheese they have. <laughs> what a cheesy joke. <laughs> but yeah, what's a visit to Galway City if you didn't go to the market? So it's kind of busy and it's a little bit late in the day and I don't have my watch. So I want to have a quick look around and check the stalls that I usually do and maybe get a little bit of salad. And then I'll go on to a new bakery in town. If you are visiting Galway, folks, either this or the Galway races would be the perfect time, I would say. The weather is usually nice at this part of the year it's usually nicer in may if you ask me but we can disagree about that one but yeah galway arts festival and uh, galway races are the weekends when you should be in galway if you don't mind being in crowd every single minute of your life which i do so but but anyways you, you get what i'm saying yeah if you want a full Busy Galway, see, now we're just we stuck just on traffic jam. Yeah, traffic jam. Obviously, it's all positive here at this time of the year. It's very busy, it's good crack, lots of banter going on, but there is a little bit of a downfall. Yeah, man. It's very hard to get anywhere to sit or eat, and everyone everywhere seems to be packed yeah, out. Sure. Went to the bakery to try those fresh baked goods, and everything was gone, and even the seats were taken. So, yeah, it's a little bit <laughs> busy. Well, it's gone, it's gone because we went to town too late. It's 3 p.m. now. And yeah, if you want to get something on the market or in the bakeries, you need to be in town one latest. But yeah, 11, 12 would be perfect if you're planning on getting something. Maybe we can, we can try and get someone to talk to us a little bit. This video is a little bit, well, shit, to be honest, because we don't have anything planned. But yeah, we'll see what to do. We still need to pay our pint. I know we're doing that, whatever happens. So. Let's go. I just discovered someone new in Galway and it looks like he's he's an author. Maybe he's writing his own poem, so I'm curious. So we're gonna go over and do a small interview and see the, his backstory, see if we can share his a little bit of life with us. I'm assuming this is your work? My James? work, yeah, that's me there on a good day. <laughs> I'm on the road over 30 years. I do all the music festivals, summer festivals, arts festivals, any cock fair and fair or cock fight in Ireland, I do all them for about six months of the year. Really? And then I endeavour to hibernate in, in the winter if I can. Well, fair play to you. And I, um, I, I'm on the road about over about nearly over 30 years now, yeah. I do all the this. festivals. I'm here for the Arts Festival. And are and, you from uh, Galway? I'm a mad North Kerry man. I'm uh, from North Kerry. Kerry I would, like, went to the university here, Pado Pado, 
40 years ago. Michael D. Uh, tried to teach me, then I knew him before he was a politician. Oh, did you? As the guy said to me, the other night, he was always a politician. He's now the, my good friend Michael D. He's, a, he's now the president of our so-called free state. That's two mile hours there, and I have novels as well, which I hope to straighten out. I hope to get ready in the winter and publish, but I won't be selling in the street. I play, so I've got a lot of work. I wish you the best. Thanks okay. very much. Take Thank you. Have a good okay. one. Enjoy have the day and enjoy too. Enjoy, enjoy the sunshine of the day. When we get it, when it comes on. <laughs> That's the attitude. Thank you, James. Hi. Such an interesting character. <laughs> that was, I think, some kind of a silent disco or something. Part of the festival too. They all had headphones. For first, I thought it's some kind of, kind of a religious, you know, sector of whatever you call them. But yeah, I think it was just a silent disco. It was definitely a silent disco. I think that was one of Mamma Mia's jams. They were, <laughs> but actually, it seems they're having fun. So that's the main thing. I wouldn't do that though. I would rather have the music playing. Cool because like it's so funny from all us witnessing. It's like we can't hear anything, and they're all having the best time of their lives, and we're judging. <laughs> It does look a bit awkward when you're looking at it from the sides, but yeah, it's funny. Okay, look like they're having fun. Yeah, so, as long as people, people are happy. That's all that matters. And I still haven't got my cake. I want to prep on the phone and I'm my dad. Like... That is what you call an idiot. It's a fine exhaust from that, I tell you. That is what you call an idiot. <laughs> so just to let you know, our filming today has gone to hell and back. So we've just called it quits and we're going to go and actually meet one of our patrons which I'm super excited about seeing. We had a brief encounter last week and we didn't have time for tea and a coffee, so we made time in our very busy diary, not really, to go and meet and have a chat. And for anyone else out there that would be interested in joining our little community, we have a Patreon. Um, it's only the cost of a beer or a bun each week and you get live streams, you get one-to-one uh, -one conversations and you'll be part of our little community on there. Um, I think it's great. I think, you know, we get to know each other better and we can share our lives and I think it's funny. We put a lot of bloopers there and I have a lot of bloopers. I'm the queen of bloopers. But yeah, uh, consider it and help us fulfill our dreams of being full-time YouTubers. Please, and we will see you in a few minutes in the bar. Sometimes folks, when you don't know what to do, you gotta sit in a pub, order a pint and just admit that you fucked up. Which we did today. Sometimes it happens, so we're gonna talk about that actually. Planning a video is much harder than you think, and when you don't plan it, what you get is what you're getting today, which is probably one of the worst videos we ever uploaded, but I don't know, thoughts? It is, I think in my mind, I'm definitely more optimistic. I always think, oh, this is gonna be fine, we're gonna go in here now, we're gonna have great crack, we're gonna have, you know, it's gonna be executed beautifully, and then, yeah, it gets- and then it's not. It gets tough, and yeah. I don't know, like for me I find, um, I'm just saying to myself that it's, it's so much easier in your mind but when you actually uh, put YouTube videos into practice, it's extremely challenging. And we just watch, or you guys just watch, what, 20 minutes or half an hour video and you're like, oh. No, they didn't. <laughs> Not this that, one. That's a hope. This one will be 8, 9, 10 if we're lucky. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't like when there's no a story arc or something that's connecting everything. What you got today is just us roaming around doing nothing. And when one guy, which poet, who I don't know what that was, but yeah, you get what we mean. I, I yeah, I get. I, I think in my mind I expected a day in life, which it is kind of a day in life. We're not calling it that right now. The title of this video will be the worst video we ever made. That will be the title. Maybe you'll click on it then. Hope, hopefully you did. <laughs> we better like practice our thumbnails. Lure you in with some. Uh... To summarize. I'm going to Croatia three days from now, on Wednesday. I will film another video in Ireland before that, so that you have a video for next weekend, which will be more planned than this one. And then after that, you are sentenced to content from Croatia, which will mean half the views we get, because that happens every summer, but that's normal. We expect that and yeah, we're in peace with it. Oh, I love his, his pictures, his videos from Croatia, because then I can, you know, kind of get in on it because I'm here and you know obviously not in Croatia so for me it's it's a different experience I guess because yeah, I'm coming from another point but yeah I'll be going to visit him in only a couple of weeks so I, I'm like super excited about my holidays so the last time I went anywhere was in in October which feels like 10 years ago but yeah and I'm missing that little trip I'm missing Vietnam so we'll sign off a bit later when we're going home but yeah
I just wanted to have this little chat with all of you. Did you know how much of a shit show it was today or a beep show? See you later. I thought that was a great day after all. It was very uh, mix and match of a bit of everything. But Thank oh. you, Paul, and thank you, Karen, for meeting us. And to any other future or present Patreons, if you are ever in Galway, we will always meet with any of you. Of course, I really enjoyed that. Such a pleasure. You guys are so fun. And I look forward to seeing you all in uh, the US of A whenever we manage to get over there to see all our, yeah. our other friends. Thank you, all of you US viewers, and especially again, Patreons, because we keep getting invited to US so I guess we're gonna just have to come and hang out with y'all <laughs> but I want an excuse to talk all like that like in the movies but yeah yeah if you like this press the like button if you didn't press the dislike for this worst video ever if you loved it for some reason press the subscribe button check our patreon and check our socials we will see you in the next one. Yeah, one more from Ireland and then it's Croatia, folks. Woohoo! For him, not for me. I have to stay here and suffer and work. <laughs> you wanna do the outro? Hold on, I have my yogurt and my butter and my beans. I'm gonna try and do this without doing it. <laughs> Let's go, guys. It's a wrap. Wrong way. I was trying to be in line with the camera. Let's go, guys. The things are moving forward